Hey there, welcome to LC Yoga. My name is Laura and today's practice is called Yoga with Heart. And that means we're going to be opening up the front body, but also dedicating our practice to someone we care about or some cause that we want to work through so that we're sort of putting ourselves into a state of giving and compassion. So if you're ready, get on your mat and I'll meet you there. We'll begin today in child's pose. So come sit up on your knees, tops of the feet on the floor, hips to heels, and then start to drape the torso over the legs. Bring the forehead down to the floor, reach the arms forward, and really reach them. So we're just gonna take a moment to ground here in child's pose, but also do a little bit of stretching in the shoulders at the same time. So start to deepen the breath. If you're not feeling much in the shoulders, you may want to tent the fingertips. Breathing into the back, breathing into the lap muscles, the shoulders and the arms. Hips can be off the heels if this doesn't feel good on your knees. Deep, slow breaths. Welcome to practice. On your next inhale, come on up to hands and knees. Curl the toes under, and you're kind of in tabletop here. Start to reach the right leg out behind you and your left arm out in front of you. And you can stay right there or start to lift your right leg, balancing on one hand, one knee. You can arch as much as feels good, looking a little bit forward, keeping the neck long. Deep breath in. And then draw the knee in toward the chest, bring your elbow to your knee, rounding the spine. Inhale, reach long, exhaling round, curl it in. Inhale, reach, exhale, curl. Now place your hand down to meet the other and step your foot forward into a low lunge. Let the hips get heavy, fingertips on the ground. You can stay there, bring the hands to the front thigh, coming up, maybe reaching the arms up overhead. Pressing the left hip forward. Deep breath in. As you exhale, bring both hands in front of the heart. Stack one hand on top of the other. And we'll do a little bit of an arm flow. So use your front leg as a break you feel like it's too much on the hips, just bring yourself up out of it a little bit. As you inhale, arch back just slightly, and then exhale, let the hands go forward and out to the sides, all the way around to the lower back, fingertips up or down. Inhale, arching up, pressing the hands into the lower back, and then exhale, come on back to center. And we'll do that two more times. Inhale. And exhale. Reach it out in front to the sides, all the way back. Inhaling, pressing the hips forward, chest to the sky. Exhale it back to center. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, reach it. Circle it all the way around to the back. Inhale, aim the curve into the upper spine 
and exhale, come on back. Bring the hands down by the front foot, step back into child's pose. Tent the fingertips again, or for the first time, if you didn't do it <laughs> before. Stretching the shoulders, knees can be wide. And then inhale it back to hands and knees, this time reaching the left foot back and reaching the right arm forward. Again, you can stay right there and as we flow, you can just draw the knee in from that position. If you're coming with me, lift the back leg. Arch as much as feels comfortable in your spine, inhaling. Exhale, curl it in, elbow to knee. Inhaling, reach. Exhale and curl. Inhale. Exhale. Replace the hand, step the left foot into a lunge. Drop the hips. Let them get heavy. Feel that in the right hip flexor. And then place the hands on the front thigh. And you can stay there or reach the arms overhead, dropping the shoulders away from the ears. Reach out through all your fingertips and then bring the hands in front of the heart. This time reverse your palms. So the opposite one is on top. Inhale, arch up. Exhale, hands go forward, out and back. Inhaling, aim the curve into the upper spine and exhale, come on back to center. Inhale, look up, exhale, give it away. Bring it all the way back, inhaling and exhaling. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Deep breath in as you arch back. Deep breath out as you come back. Bring the hands down by the front foot. Step the knees together and come on back into child's pose. Inhale it back to all fours. Step the right foot forward into a lunge and then pull the hips back as the toes go up toward the sky, half split. So plant that heel into the ground. Pull your hip back and away from that and the knee can be as bent as it needs to be. Crown of the head reaching toward the front of the mat. On your next inhale, shift the hips forward, bending into the front knee. Place the hands on the front thigh and come on up. Reach forward with the left hand and bring the elbow to the knee. We'll take a revolved prayer twist. Using your right hand, press into your right thigh, twist toward the right. Then place the hands together and push down to lift up and away. And what you're going for here it's more of a hip stretch than anything. So you're pulling the knee and the hip away from each other. So it's not about how much you twist, it's just about getting that nice stretch right there. And make sure that you're pressing to lift up out of that shoulder. And then release, bring the hands to the floor and come on back, child's pose again. Tented fingers are no, your choice. And inhale it back to all fours. Stepping the left foot forward this time and come on up. 
reach the, or well, actually, let's do the half split first. So plant the heel and pull the hips back. Deep breaths into the underside of the leg as the top of the head works toward the front of the mat. And then inhaling, bending into the front knee. Come on up, for real this time, reaching forward with your right hand, elbow to knee. Press into the thigh with your left hand so that you're twisting that way. And that brings the twist into your torso. So you want the twist near your belly button, not your shoulders. Then press the hands together, lifting up. I used to always tweak my shoulders and twists. So I was trying so hard to twist <laughs> as much as I possibly could. Not realizing that it's not it's not about that Just shooting for a hip stretch and twisting from the belly button a couple more breaths here and release bring the hands back down to the ground come back to all fours and this time we're going to step forward again with the left foot and then lift the back knee as you walk your hands over toward the right and then turn and come into a wide-legged forward fold. So get situated there, bending the knees, inhaling to a long spine, flat back, and then as you exhale, you fold. Knees as bent as they need to be. Crown of the head reaching toward the ground, using the hands, pressing them into the ground. Deep breaths into the backs of the legs. And let's just give them a second to open up. The knees can be deeply bent here. So you can be almost in a goddess pose if needed. Wherever you are, breathe deep and move around as you see fit. So you can hang out here, bend one knee and then the other. Maybe moving from one leg, the straighter leg over to the other one. Just kind of exploring, finding what parts of your hips or your legs need stretching. Maybe a little bit of everything a couple of times. That feels good to me. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. And release it. Come on back to center. And you'll find after moving around a little bit, feel a little more open. Now inhale, bring your fingertips out in front, the flat spine. Now turn your heels in. So turn your toes out just a little bit. Bend into the knees. Bring the hands to the hips. And then come on up to stand. Kind of straighten the legs for a minute. To shake it out. And we're, we're going to take goddess pose for real this time. So bend into the knees. So that your knees are somewhere over your ankles. And just for a moment, we're going to hang out here. So you can bring your hands to your knees or your thighs and just sink. And let your, hand, your shoulders come up towards your ears. It's one of my favorites, especially in the morning. I take that back in the evening too. <laughs> it kind of reverses all that stuff we do to our shoulders during the day. So here, move around a little bit if you want to too. Maybe turning from one side to the other, getting the sideways in on the action. And then straighten the legs, sweep the arms up overhead and then cactus the arms and arch back just a little, aiming the curve into the upper spine as we always do. And then let the hands come down. And let's do that a couple of times. Sweep the arms out and up, and then cactus them on the way down. Exhaling the whole way. 
And one more time. Inhale and exhale. Now this time when we sweep the arms up, they're gonna come back down, but they're gonna go into eagle arms with the left arm under, right arm over. So you're stacking the elbows and then wrapping the palms. And if they don't wrap, the backs of the hands can touch, that's fine. Turn your, your feet back into turnout and then bend into the knees again. So now you're in goddess pose with arms in eagle arms. Reach the arms up toward the sky, away from the face. And then from here, keep your arms where they are, turn your feet toward the right. So now you're in kind of a warrior stance, right? Start to turn toward the right and lift the back heel and you're in a high lunge. Now stay right there or start to arch back, pressing the left hip forward and bending into the right knee. Still lifting the arms up and away. Now from here, release the arms. Maybe give them a swing, release those muscles. And we're gonna, we're gonna launch ourselves into warrior three. So get ready. You're gonna come all the way onto that right foot. So start to come forward using the arms to help you and reaching them forward, lifting the back foot. If that doesn't work, leave your back foot on the ground, right? And then just push into that right foot and see if you can lift it up. Put yourself into a T shape. T, as my teacher Ian Finn says, T for tasty here, feeling it in that leg. You wobble out, come right back, find a drishti, gaze point, it'll help you balance. And then bend into both knees and teeter on up, bring the left knee into the chest, right hand to the hip. Deep breaths. Now we're gonna go out the same way we came in. So with that knee into the chest, now you're just going to slow motion, tilt forward, kicking that foot out behind you, hands to the hips, and then drop it down your back in a lunge. Reach the arms overhead, and then come on back to center, straightening the arms. Whoo! Reach the arms overhead and fold it forward. Let's take a few big breaths here. Get the breath back. Give that poor right leg a little bit of a break. Big breaths. Breathing open. And on your next inhale, straighten the arms, tenting the fingertips, turn your feet into turnout. Bend deeply into the knees, hands to the hips. Come on up. Straighten the legs. Cactus the arms as you arch back. Inhaling. On your next exhale, let the hands come all the way down. Inhale, sweep them up. Bend into the knees as you turn your feet into turnout. And this time, we're going to do uh, eagle arms, right arm under, left arm over wrapping the palms or backs of the hands together. Reach them up and away from the face as you bend into the knees. Deep breaths. And then we're gonna do that fancy footwork again. So turn your feet toward the left. And then, so you're in kind of a warrior stance, and as you turn your torso toward the left, bring your back heel up, and you're in a high lunge. Inhale, reach the arms up, maybe arching back a little, pressing the right hip forward. And into the front knee as much as you want, but you don't have to. And then release the arms, sweep them up overhead, 
our springboard into Warrior 3. Ready? Here we go. Launching forward, reach it. Back foot up and you're back in your T shape. T for tasty. Now if that's not working, again, bring your foot down behind you. And then maybe try lifting it up again. Hips are squared toward the ground. Reach the fingertips and the back toes away from each other. So reach out through all your endpoints. And then release that, bend into the right knee and bring it on up into the chest. Grab a hold of it. Now we're gonna go out the same way we came in, right? So from here, maybe bring both hands to the, to the hips. Squeeze that knee into the chest, bend into both knees, tilt forward and slow, slow, slow. Reach your back leg back into a lunge position and come on up, reach up, high lunge. Now from here, let's place the hands down on the ground, framing the front foot and step it back into a downward dog. Now in downward dog, the, or walk the feet back just a little bit so the heels are up or up more. And then press the chest through the shoulders. And an anahatasana or heart pose in downward dog. Now if that's too much, lower the knees and do the same thing. And that's puppy pose. Pressing the chest toward the ground and if it gets close enough, you may want to reach your chin forward, but you don't have to. Forehead can be on the ground or, or close to it. But if your chest does come to the ground, reach your chin forward as long as your neck is happy. Stretching deeply into the chest and the shoulders. And then release that wherever you are, bring your knees to the ground if you're still in downward dog. And sit back on the heels, bring the hands to the thighs, palms up, close the eyes. And let's just feel that. Slowly open the eyes. And from here, we're gonna come back into a child's pose, just for a breath. And then we're gonna slither forward all the way into Cobra, dropping the hips. Now in Cobra, come up only as far as it feels good, pressing all 10 toes and the hips down. Take a deep breath in here, and exhaling, pull back into child's pose. And we'll do that a couple more times. Ripple the spine forwards, rounding chin to chest, drop the hips. Arms can stay straight if, or straight-ish if that feels good on the spine. If not, come down lower. Never forcing. Just come up as high as it feels good in your own body. You're just looking for a front body stretch. And then pull back, child's pose. One more time, rippling forward, rounding the spine. Drop the hips, cobra, shoulders away from the ears. And then pull it back. This time shift the hips forward, curl the toes under, downward dog. Now in downward dog, as you inhale, bring the right foot up toward the sky and then bend into the knee, stack the hip. So your right heel is by your left hip. Press the right shoulder down, so you're keeping the shoulder square toward the ground. Reach that knee up high. Deep breath in here. And then as you exhale, step it forward between the hands, 
Back knee stays off the ground and reach your right arm up toward the sky. Reach, reach, reach. A little bit of a back arch there. And then swim that hand forward to the inside of your right foot. Drop your back knee and you're in lizard pose. So here in lizard, we're going to rock back and forth a little. Just opening that hip flexor a little more. Now flex into the right foot and wing that knee out to the side as you become still here in lizard pose. Press into the ground, so pressing into the hands, lift your chest up and away from that. It's a bit of a back arch, but again, it's about opening the front body, so let the hips drop as you do that. And it'll just get a nice little natural arch. If that's enough, stay there. If your body's asking for more, bend into the back knee. And maybe you hang out just like that. Or try reaching back with your right hand, grab a hold of that ankle, and then press the foot into the hand. That'll bring you back a little more, let the hips drop, a nice deep opening in that front hip flexor. Or left hip flexor, they're both in the front. Reach and open. This is an ecstatic pose, so find the joy in this one. And then release, pull the hips back, and we'll come back to a half split for a few breaths. Pressing the hands into the ground, bending into the front knee, step on back to a downward dog. And then we'll take on a Hatasana again. So here again, maybe you're in downward dog, scooting the feet back so the heels are up. Press the chest through the shoulders. Making the torso into a ski jump. If that's too much, bring the knees to the ground and take puppy pose instead. So much good for the shoulders here. Really reverses all that sitting and hunching over we do. And then come on back to a regular downward dog, wherever you are. Lift the left foot up toward the sky as you take a deep breath in. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Pressing the left shoulder down so the shoulders are squared toward the ground and reach the knee up toward the sky. Inhaling here. Exhaling, step it forward into a lunge and then reach the left arm up high to the sky, hips drop down. Open up as much as you want to here. And then release, swim that hand forward to the inside of the left foot, maybe scooting the foot out toward the side, drop the back knee. And here, let the hips get heavy. Press the chest forward toward the front of the mat. And then come on to the edge of your flexed left foot and let that knee wing out to the side. Open the hip. Stay there, maybe bending the back knee. And maybe you grab a hold of that ankle. Press the foot into the hand, opening up even more. Hips stay heavy. One more 
big breath here. Find it and then release. Coming forward, scoot the hand in or the foot in between the hands, pull the hips back, half split. Reaching the crown of the head toward the front of the mat, pulling the hip back and away from that. And then bending back into the front knee, plant the hands, step, step. Downward dog. Now inhaling the right foot up. Exhaling, step it forward. Plant the left heel. So turn that foot to about a 45 degree angle and then come on up to warrior one. Inhale, reach the arms up toward the sky. And then as you exhale, bring them behind you and interlace the hands, interlace the fingers. Inhaling, pull the arms long. Your palms can touch or be apart. Your choice. Deep breaths into the shoulders. And on your next exhale, start to bow forward toward your front leg but you're coming to the right or to the left side of your front leg and let the arms go up overhead. Humble warrior. Looking back toward your back foot. Release the hands, plant them by the front foot and step back down dog. And inhaling the left foot up this time. Exhaling and step it. Back heel lowers, warrior one. Inhaling, reach up, spread the fingers wide. A couple of deep breaths here. And on your next exhale, arms float down behind you, interlace the fingers, and then inhale, pull the arms long. And on your next exhale, bowing forward. And then release, plant the hands, step, step, down dog. This time come through into a seated position. So walk the knees on through. And for our forward folds today, we're gonna take a wide-legged forward fold. Upavishta Konasana. So spread the legs wide, tilting the pelvis forward. So maybe scoot the hips side to side to make that happen. I want to roll, kind of roll onto the front of the pelvis. So start to come forward, back is nice and long. Not rounding. Doesn't matter how far we come forward, right? So press the chest forward. Bring the hands to the floor. Maybe tensing the fingertips. And just breathe into the legs. If you find yourself rounding, bring the hands behind you. Or use them like a post to press the chest up and away and then just start to tilt forward. Bend the knees as much as you need to. Now as your body lets you in, start to come forward, but keep pressing the chest out in front. When we try, we think we want to go straight down, we start to round like this, and that's how you can pull your back. You don't want to do that. So 
Get the back nice and straight. Now if you come all the way down to your elbows, give me some sphinx arms. So spread the fingertips wide and pull the chest through the elbows. And that'll intensify the stretch in the inner groins. Wherever you are, come on back up, bend into the right knee, and then bring your elbow to the inside of that knee. Place the hand on the floor. Maybe the elbow comes all the way to the floor. And then we're going to side bend, but before we do that, we're going to bring the chest up toward the sky. All right, so open your arms like wings. Now, if you're not feeling much, you start to straighten that knee while dropping the left hip down. And what you're trying to do is tilt the pelvis toward the, toward the right. You can swim that hand over toward your right foot. You can grab a hold of the foot if you've got that much flexibility. But that tends to misalign my spine, so I don't bother with that. I just hang out right here. Just reaching my armpit up and away, dropping my hip down. It's always a good idea here to close the eyes and just feel. Don't worry about how it looks. Shoulders away from the ears. Chest is continuously turning up toward the sky. On your next inhale, come on up to center and we'll take that to the other side. So start with a bent knee, elbow to the inside of the knee. Spread the arms like wings, turning up. Elbow can be on or off the floor, doesn't matter. And then maybe starting to bend toward the side as you straighten the leg, as long as you're able to tilt and not round too much. Deep breaths. One more. And then come on back up to sit. We'll take it one more time toward the front. Now we're a little bit more open. So again, start to tilt the pelvis forward, rolling onto the front of the pelvis. Knees can be bent. They could be significantly bent. And if you're feeling really tight, you might want to have something underneath them right, to help you fold forward. Chest reaching forward. And then release. Walk the hands back up. Grab the backs of the knees and pull the legs in. And then we will, before we take Baddha Konasana, let's do a little bit of reversal. So let's windshield wipe the knees back and forth. It's a lot of outward rotation. So we'll inwardly rotate them to so kind of counteract that. Now bring the bottoms of the feet together, knees out to the side. Again, rocking the hips, so we're tilting the pelvis. Same, same, different pose. So maybe the fingertips behind, tilting the forward chest, reaching toward the front of the mat. Maybe the hands come forward. Close the eyes and just focus your attention where you feel the strongest sensation. Breathe into that. With each breath you'll find you're coming further into the pose, so adjust, maybe walking the hands further forward. back up to sit. Plant the feet onto the floor, bring your hands behind you, and let's just take a quick tabletop. Lift the hips. Maybe the head goes back or not. Take 
care of your neck. Stretch those shoulders and then lower the hips. And we'll take one more front body opener. So come on to the knees and sit on to the heels. So if you're dealing with any knee issues, this might be enough. Maybe place something in between your feet that you can sit on here, because we're gonna take hero pose. All right, so you may wanna put a block or a bolster or a pillow under your hips, but what we wanna do is sit in between the heels, All right? So we're gonna scoot the feet out just slightly. But again, if you've got knee issues, do not attempt. So sit up on something if needed. If your knees are feeling good, you're gonna snuggle in between your knees and hang out here. So backs of the hands to the knees, and we just close the eyes. And feel that. You feel any pinching or burning, back right up out of it. If this doesn't feel like much, you may wanna to start to recline back onto your elbows. And then if your body's still like, yeah, that's not much, go ahead and lie down. But again, only doing this if your body's asking for it, not because you want to do it. As this can be a bit of a back arch in the lower spine, and we don't want any crunching there. So take care of yourself. Maybe the arms go overhead if you're lying down. And if you've reclined all the way, press into the ground with your elbows and come back up onto them. And then your hands pressing into the ground. Come on up. Now wherever you are, come on to hands and knees. And then stretch your right leg long out behind you with the toes curled under. And just rock back and forth, stretching out the back of the knee. And then release that, bring the knee to the ground, and we'll take the other side. And then walk the knees on through and roll on out, roll down onto your back. Draw the knees into the chest, give them a little squeeze, and then reach the heels up toward the sky. We'll take a supine leg stretch. So grab the backs of the knees, the calves, or the big toes. Bend the knees as much as you need to to keep the shoulders on the ground. So you want your elbows a little bit slack here and then press the heels up toward the sky. And then release, bend the knees, and we'll take a recline twist. So let the arms float out into a T-shape and then drop your knees over toward the left. Maybe scooting the hips more toward the center to get a nice twist, turning the head toward the right. Now, if that doesn't feel like much, you wanna straighten the bottom leg and draw the top knee over with your left hand. I always like to twist at the end of a practice. It brings everything kind of back into balance. And then release that, bring everything back to center, and we'll take the other side. So this time, draw the knees into the chest and drop them over toward the right. Maybe scooting the hips. Turning the head toward the left. And again, adjust as needed to get a nice opening stretch in the side waist and the hip. No tweaking in the back. Release 
please come on back to center. Let the legs stretch out. Flop your feet open, hands to the sky, palms to the sky. Shavasana. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And let it out through an open mouth. Let the breath do whatever it wants. Let everything sink down. You can stay here as long as you like. And when you're ready, start to bend into the knees and place the bottoms of the feet on the ground. Bring your hands to your upper thighs. Drawing the knees in toward the chest, give them a squeeze. And then roll on up to sit. Find a comfy seat. Bring the backs of the hands to the knees, thumb and forefinger touch, and close the eyes. And hopefully your heart feels open. In doing so, we prepare ourselves, not just for the day or the evening, but we prepare ourselves to be more open and with openness comes compassion and caring and giving. Otherwise we stay hunched over and very much concerned with ourselves. So this is opening ourselves up ready to let others in. So take that energy out into your day or your evening. Namaste.